There's my rifle, though. All right, now... Oh! Oh, <laughs> did you see his squirt? We had a bonafide squirter, boys. All right, we are back to another zombie banger here in Frontline Z. I was reading your comments from the first video, and apparently a lot of people let me know, Falcon, you compared it to Dead Z, which is fine, but more importantly, this game is more like Last Stand 1 and 2, except in 3D, more modernized. So I looked into those games because I never played them myself, and you're right. It is like Last Stand, just more modern in 3D. I also found an M19... M1911 gun last time. People were like making fun of me because they were like, how does he not know it's an M19? Isn't he American? I'm like, oh, not all Americans know about guns. I wanted to go to the stables, but how about we just go through all the small dudes here first? So let's do something like shed, shed, shed. I would have to remove two to check this church out. Let me check the church and do those two. How about that? One hour remaining. I guess we'll have to just um, waste it away. We found nothing whatsoever. Good. I'm so glad we, we checked out the church in those two sheds. Luger and M19. Who's called? Oh, God, runners. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Lost that head pretty good, I would say. Oops. Getting too low. Oh, we got a big boy over here rolling up, too. Ah, uh, okay. We have a big running boy, as a matter of fact. So, normally, what I've noticed this far, the first level isn't so bad, but then they start getting more progressively difficult. So, essentially, towards the end of the area. And what I mean by that is by the time you're leaving this area to the next map, that is when it gets harder and harder because essentially the game knows that after you're done here, you get a new refresh to the wall when you go to a new area. So the first level won't really be too difficult. It's the ones that come afterwards. I would like to also get the guys on the left-hand side, but we get so many runners in this side right now. Okay. Falcon, please stop missing. We're at 58, so we're only taking two damage thus far, which is good. We had a runner over here hiding in a freaking tree. Okay. To stop him. Sometimes forget about getting the headshot, just go for the body shot, just delay him as much as we can. Now, I was reading the forums for this game as well. There's some people that kind of have the same complaints that I do. You cannot assign weapons to the survivors, so they just pick something at random. Judging by the... The, uh, I guess what's equipped that I could see, visibly see on the survivor right now. It seems like they got the Luger equipped, which is kind of weird because I have a Luger myself, so... I'm not sure if they just have a predetermined gun or... They're also using an extra Luger that they materialize with thin air, who knows? But people were saying, like, asking the developers that they could add the function to equip your survivors with different weapons, which I think would be cool. I mean, it's fine if it's got to be one of the weapons you found. That's perfectly okay. I mean, that's how you do it in Dead Z, and I imagine maybe even Last Stand, even though I haven't played those games, but... Maybe you guys could tell me about Last Stand, how it kind of differentiates here. But I would like the option to be able to equip your survivor with something. So we took seven damage to the wall. We took seven damage to the wall. It's not such a beautiful wall anymore. If we had some more time over here... I'm not even going to fix the wall. No, we got some more time. I'm not going to fix the wall. Because I imagine all we have to do is survive one more damage and we're out of here, right? So if that's the case... Boom. Boom. What do you guys think? Shutter stables. Stables is a big area, huh? Yeah, we'll do the stables. Alright, so we've gone through everything here except one shed, so... Please give me something good. We found a survivor, so we're up to two now, and we have a G17. Sorry, again, the dumb American bird has no idea what a G17 is. Can I... can I see it? Okay, it's another handgun. I'm... I'm waiting for my first shoddy. Oh, 17! Alright. And we got two boys now. And possibly girls, who knows. I mean, I'd probably be able to tell if like, the game gave me some information about my survivors, like a name or something. How about this? How about if I play a bit more of this, you guys give me names from the survivors. <laughs> give me some names for them. Blue Beanie and White Beanie. Now, there's a lot of boys here. Let me switch over to you really quickly, because we, we need some stoppage power. You ding-dongs, can you please take care of the zombies in front of us, not the ones a mile away. Okay, let's get a reload here. Let me also switch over to the M19 so we can reload it, because we got a little bit of time. There you go. Take a shot in there. Reload it. Perfect. Now, switch over. There we go. There you go. Don't, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, my man. Your, your male booby was, like, bouncing around. You were very excited about hitting my wall right now. I don't want it happening. Off to Pete's Junkyard. Oh, yo, I think I saw this in the, um, the trailer. I made it to a junkyard. Easy to construct a wall here. With all the scrap. Still, too much danger between here and the city. Alright. 
Alright, so we got 70 Barricade here, so it's a bit stronger than the other ones, but that just means it'll probably be more difficult as well. So, let's see, what do we got to check out? We have a house. Big ol' house, too. Shelter, two. Shack, two. Garage, four. Gas, two. Warehouse, storage, alright, and we got an office. Well, I like the idea of storage, but it's three hours, which I... Nah, we'll skip that for later. If we take some damage somewhere, we have to heal up. It just, it just throws everything off, because everything's either four or two, it's even. This odd number here just throws everything off. Although we could do a, a warehouse and a storage. So what we could do is like a storage and warehouse, and then we have two. And we can just throw that into like a shelter or a shack. You know what? I'm always thinking shacks for some reason to have the, the freaking weapon. So we'll go with that one here. And then we'll leave some of the big boys for later. We got ourselves a revolver. I mean, sure it's another weapon, but... <laughs> the game is not too kind when it comes to giving me some automatic guns or something with like really, really huge stoppage power. Alright, so let's see here. It's only got six. Two shots brought a boy down. Oh, okay. You know what? It totally is um, strong as hell. I'm gonna call this... Is this the, would, would this qualify as the Rick Grimes? Can I move? Oh, I can move. I saw in the trailer that the boy could move. I just, um, you move with WASD. Ah. Oddly enough, I could also push my survivors around. Do you saw that? Huh. Okay. I mean, I'm not sure if it matters where I'm standing just because whether I'm moving around or I'm standing in place. It seems like I'm, I could still hit anybody in the entire map, you know? So I'm not sure how important that is. Let me switch over to the other boy now. Just to kind of get a comparison. Yeah. So with the other boy, we need like a couple of, a lot of extra couple of shots. But we can move around. Okay. I don't think it really matters though. I, I'm not seeing any sort of like, you know, upside to it. Because I have entire full scope of the map. I could shoot wherever I wanted the map. No matter where I'm standing. So, I don't know. Maybe later on it becomes more important. Alright, so we need another name now because we have a third survivor. So we got Blue Beady, White Beady, and Baseball Cap as well. Now let's see here, because this might be the last one before we move to another area. I expect it to probably ramp up quite a bit here. But yo, the stoppage power of my boy, I'm loving it. And having three people over here is definitely helping us quite a bit. It feels like they're not, you know, coming up in front of my grill so quickly this time around, so that's fine. I'm only moving around for the hell of it at this point, because I know it probably doesn't do anything much for us, but whatever. It gives us some mobility up here. It looks a bit more natural as well than just having my guy sway his hips around as well as he's shooting. Because otherwise it's kind of like, you know, look at these hips. Ah, get out of here. Okay, 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 okay. Maybe, maybe I was being, uh, maybe I was being too confident here. We are now at the construction yard in Georgetown. Okay. Getting closer to the center. Made it to a construction site. I've been hearing grenades go off. With enough searching, I should be able to find some. Ooh, okay. See, in the options in the control setting, there was like a, a key for grenades, and I'm like, well, I mean, I've never seen grenades thus far. So more than likely now, we should probably find some heavy-duty bangers, which might, might indicate a little change up here with the Zambonis as well. So, let's see here. Eight hours. Workshop sounds like a really good place for grenades. I know we like to do the twos, but we'll start off with a four here. We got a warehouse, sheds, garage, garage. Not sure if an office is a really good place for bombs, or at least grenades, right? So we'll do workshop and we'll do warehouse? Let's go with the big ones first and see what happens. M38. Well, it's not grenades, but is it something that's not a hand? Oh yes, we got our first freaking rifle, finally! Alright, so do we keep the Rick Grimes or do we go with this bad boy? I don't know. I mean, I imagine it's gonna have some stopping power to it, right? And probably got the most amazing, you know, capacity of ammo. So I'm thinking we should keep that one for, you know, just when you got a bang, bang, bang. And this will be our big stoppage boy. Alright. Let's try this out. We're almost out of time, so I'm gonna start wrapping it up here after this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, though. If you want to see some more, as I've mentioned, let me know in the comments if you're leaving a thumbs up. We will come back. Keep going forward, see how far we can get. There's my rifle, though. All right, now... Oh! Oh, <laughs> did you see his squirt? We had a bona fide squirter, boys. Oh, get off of it! Get off of it! We have done it. You guys shoot him, that's fine. Oh, I missed. Oh, look, we have uh, new zombies now. I have an uh, angry construction worker. I mean, he's got a helmet, so I'm not sure if the... 
the rifle will take care of him. I mean, we took his leg off in one go, so that's 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 good. People, please. I'm trying to take care of the long distance ones, and you guys take care of the ones in front, alright? That's how the game should be played out now. We gotta change your tech. Please. Please, you think dumbs. Fine, I'll take care of it myself. Can't rely on the AI to just follow simple rules. All you gotta do, CJ, is follow the freaking train. I mean, we're not following the train and not CJ, but... You know what I'm saying? He's gotta follow simple rules, which is shoot the zombies that are near you. <laughs> I'm loving this. This is what we're missing, you know, we need at least one gun eventually with that high stoppage power. Look at this dude. No idea what happened to him. I'm loving this gun already. Loving this gun. There you guys have it. I'm gonna wrap it up here for this and I hope you've enjoyed it. If you want to see some more as I've mentioned, let me know in the comments. We'll definitely come back and keep going doing some more. We have some areas to explore. We gotta find some grenades too, so soon. Kapow! All the zombies go bye-bye. I will catch you next time.